Welcome back to another episode of Kuroi TV. As I continue my free guide on how to make gold in World of Warcraft, these are the final scenes of my previous video. This video will be more of the nitty gritty of how I continue to make gold. Uh, I did start with about 10 until I sold this cat, which is up to about 190 gold. And we'll see how I turn that into over 2,000 gold in just seven days. But as I mentioned in my previous video, one of the items I like to sell and deal with especially at low levels when I'm really concerned about making gold are items that don't have a deposit cost and uh, aside from enchanting mats you also find uh, armor and weapon vellums don't have a deposit cost I like armor vellums because they're one-third of the materials as weapon vellums and I think you'll generally find that people are enchanting other parts of armor a lot more than enchanting weapons so I bought some ink of the sea off the auction house bought some parchment and I went about finding a scribe willing to make some armor vellums. I found one shortly, had them whip up a few. With the new change, you actually get two vellums per ink of the sea, so your low material costs are even cut in half further, so that's a bonus. Uh, quick thing, I will be using some other players for some uh, services. Uh, if you are going to do that, uh, make sure you tip, tip whoever's uh, making stuff for you. Not only is it uh, polite and common courtesy but also it'll encourage them to be willing to give you repeat business and also is making them a lot less likely to walk away with your stuff even though there are some repercussions that Blizzard can help you out with uh, it's better not even have to deal with that issue in the first place so see I'm selling armor vellums I got some more inks to the sea had someone else make me some more found a few infinite dust which were pretty much a steal threw three of them up there and uh, now here I'm looking and I'm finding some stacks uh, full of 20 for, for rather cheap, a few gold under the market price. And this is the thing about buying power. I only was able to buy two stacks. I could have bought like one more, but I wanted to have some gold on hand in case I did find a real good, real good deal that I would be upset if I passed up. So if I had more gold, um, basically I make at least, tw at least 20 gold on each of these stacks. Um, I would have made more if I would have waited, but wanted to make as much as possible so if I would have been able to buy all eight or nine stacks I would have made you know 180 or 200 gold something like that instead I only made 40 some and you see they are all selling so uh, suggestion is to list it individually because um, sometimes people don't need a full 20 especially if they're just getting the materials to have um, someone enchant something for them it's always better to deal in, in singles. So here, I know I mentioned I didn't really like weapon vellums, but I'm not actually selling these. I'm buying these. I decided to kind of step up to the next tier. I had about 380 some gold, and now I've been buying weapon vellums and greater planar essence, large prismatic shards, void shard or void crystal. I'm sorry, and a bunch of arcane dust. And you'll notice those all are burning crusade enchanting materials. And um, kind of the real money maker you'll see in this video is uh, a secret that some people know of. I don't really think it's a secret, but it's sought after a lot more than I think people realize. So there is a definitely a market of being the middleman between an enchanter and the end user, and that is enchant weapon mongoose. So I bought all the materials for that. It cost me, um, I think, about 175 gold thereabouts on average for the materials um, and then you know I turned around and I was selling the scrolls for about 400 gold that seemed to be the the going rate that people were willing and eager to pay for a scroll so if you're a rogue or if you're a new feral druid and you're looking to save gold and you want mongoose I would suggest hitting the auction house and seeing if you can't buy the materials and have someone make it instead of just buying a scroll um, however, I don't know, potentially people might have something stopping them from buying, but I don't understand what. Um, maybe a language barrier or something, but I, I'm doing all this on a level 1, so I don't see how a level 80 can't do the same, just talking and trade, but to each their own. And I guess that's that's one of the things. A lot of making gold like this isn't much more than making gold off of people who are lazy or... um potentially less informed um, but I guess that's why I'm making these videos so at least you'll be making money off of the lazy and not the people that don't uh, know any better 
Um, so I actually bought more and decided to get a second one since probably actually the hardest part in this whole process is finding an enchanter but I found a few I went to on different occasions and I tipped them well I tipped them about 25 gold per vellum so um, when I was like had two or three made pretty much getting 50 or 75 gold for about 45 seconds of their time which isn't bad in my opinion um, and so they were rather eager when I would go back to them not asking if they'd you know, be willing to make me another vellum, and they said, of course. So, so that's that repeat business, helping out, especially if you tip well. So, still, even if I tipped my 25 gold per, I'm still making 200 gold per, and as you see, I'm, I'm selling these. So, the next item I made a lot of gold with uh, was actually Saronite bars. You'll notice that um, there's quite a few listed, but they're almost all in stacks of 20. There's almost none singularly. So I bought a stack of 20 for about less than two gold a piece. I turned around and the uh, market value of them individually was about four, four and a half gold per bar. Now there is a bit of a hefty deposit on these, but I found that they sold very well. I never had any um, auctions expire, and I kept buying like I'd only buy one stack at a time just in case someone would massively undercut me and I'd have to have a little undercutting war. I didn't want to be losing out on all that gold so I only did one stack at a time to not flood the market but people who are trying to get uh, you know the eternal belt buckles made things like that are only gonna need four so if you're not a miner or a blacksmith or a jewel craft or anything like that you really have no need for the extra bars so yet again if you wanna save some gold you can buy in bulk and then turn around and sell the extras if you're looking for someone to make a belt buckle or um, just make a few belt buckles and sell the belt buckles or just save them because you know you're eventually going to get more belts so uh, the biggest tip is saving gold or making gold is buying in bulk um, you see right now I'm at like 750 ish um, actually had to cancel a few auctions for the mongoose and relist them for a little, a little cheaper um, just to try and move them quicker I could have waited till some other people had sold their their scrolls like one copper undermine, but uh, I decided I wanted to, wanted to sell them. So here's selling three of them, and that shoots me up to like 19. No, this will shoot me up to like 1980 or 54. I'm sorry, 1954. Here we go. We have the the uh, like 1998. I stop on on this character alone. Plus I have the essences in there. I have some shards, some crystals. And if you notice up on the very top of my Titan bar, it'll say the overall gold on this server across all my characters is 2,025 gold. So there it is, over 2,000 gold in just seven days. Until next time, good luck and have fun.